Hello there, I'm Mark and I post two useful tutorials every week, so don't forget to check my other videos. Today we're going to create this text effect, so it will look like um, liquid melting text using Affinity Designer. So let's get started. Here I am in my designer, I already type the text using type tool and now I'm going to convert this text layer into curves. So convert to curves over here and it's done. As you can see now we got a group instead and each letter is a separate shape. So let's select them all and unite them with geometric action. Cool, now this is just one shape so we can ungroup. We don't need group anymore. So instead of text we got one shape now. With that, we can move to Node tool, zoom in slightly, and I will just click to add new nodes at the bottom part of the text, like this. So I will turn them, I will make this edge irregular, almost like melting. I got sharp nodes here, but I'm going to back and refine this later. I just want to get the project started, so I will not worry about it now. I just click, click and drag. You can click on existing line to add a new node using Node tool. So that's really handy, we don't need to switch between Pen tool and Node tool all the time. Just click on the existing line and drag it down. You can even drag the line itself, but keep in mind it will deform the shape around. So that's why adding points to lock that certain area. All right, maybe a few more here. We got few letters left. Just simply click here on the left and then you can drag the point in between. So we need like three points. The left and right points secure the area and then the middle point, there's one that we drag down. Okay, and the last letter over here. You can recognize different type of nodes based on the symbol. If it's a little circle, this is soft node. And with rectangle, this is sharp node. Okay, so I'm going to turn my sharp nodes into smooth nodes. I can click on the node and then select at the top, smooth. And I, now I got my node controls that I can adjust. You can select all of your nodes and smooth them all in one time, like this. Cool. So I'm going to do a second run, do some little adjustments, converting my nodes into smooth nodes. In some cases I already got smooth nodes, so that's not a problem. Little adjustments here and there. This is our second pass. All right, so we need this bottom edge of each letter to be rough like this and smooth, so it's kind of like liquid. We need nice smooth curves, not like sharp edges and anything like that. Try to imagine gravity pulling down the liquid from the letters like jelly or slime. Cool, and here we got some sharp notes as well on letter D here. Let's select all together, smooth, and here it is. All right, and some people may be happy with this result. They can use that as SVG. They can even put it on T-shirt or cut using laser. But in my case, I'm going to move forward. I make I will make a duplicate of this whole layer and make alternative color for the second layer. So right click, duplicate, and I will use the layer below now. So I switch visibility off for the layer above. I will alter the color of the layer below, like this. And now I will take it even further. So I will modify this bottom edge, move it even lower so I can see it. Keep in mind I got one layer that I hide temporary above this one. So I need to move it even lower so this will be visible when I turn the visibility on later. So I'm simply pulling this 
even lower very same process exactly same tool no tool one of the most powerful tools in any vector editing software no tool allow us to modify any curve any shape so that's really great because we don't need to make a perfect stroke perfect line in the first try there's always no tool to help us out to make changes so you don't need to even be any much artistic person to make a great vector art because there's no tool for you to make any corrections you need. One of my favorite tools, to be honest. Okay, a few more. Let's alter this second layer, the pink layer, so it's a bit different than the previous one. And here's the last letter. Maybe let's drag this down. All right, almost there. And I'm going to turn on visibility of the previous one so I can see them both together like this All right, so we got like two shades of this liquid So it's kind of like dropping down and also the color is fading away from the letter. That's cool. I Think I will go with one more layer so I will make one more duplicate and for the last duplicate I'm going to use color similar to my backdrop to make a little bit of contrast and also to show that it, this color is fading away while the shape is kind of melting. All right, a few more little changes to the layer we just draw, we just modify. Nice. That's, as you can see, it's very manual job, all depends on your text on your letters cool maybe this one a little bit out all right and now we are ready for the final layer so exactly same process right click duplicate i will move it down and alter the color this time as i mentioned something similar to the backdrop i also move the whole shape down a little bit so I can see it under straight away this time cool and now we go with this blue color as we got light blue backdrop and now I will go really hard I will pull it really all the way down this is our last layer the one that is melting with the backdrop so we can go really hard on this last one pull it really all the way down show that this layer melt already the color fade away from it we got blue now all right so exactly same process but this time we are going even further we don't need to be that much careful here we can pull it all the way down to make it more chaotic and in this case as you can see i can also modify the shape inside because I pull the whole shape the blue shape down a little bit I'll be able to add some additional effects inside a letters not only on the below edge like before so let's finish with the edge and then we will move inside the letters as well to make some little changes here and there just pulling this down using existing points you can also add new points here and there to make it more chaotic as I mentioned keep in mind there's a, some kind of gravity that pulling this slime down so you pull it down not like diagonal or something like that it will look strange alright and maybe here a little point And now, as you can see, we can see the edge inside the letter now. So I can play with it a little bit, make it a bit softer, not like straight. Maybe here, not too much here. Let's be careful here inside the letters, just a little bit softer edge. One more here. Okay, this should do, maybe one po more point here. And I think that's all. Maybe here we got this Q, so we can do it here as well. Nice. All right, let's 
zoom out and see the final effect. Cool, we got three different layers with three different colors. Let's select them all and add some finishing touch. I'm going to add layer style, inner shadow. This will kind of indicate that the edges are wet. If you use like wet paint, cool. Overlay, and that's our final result. Here's how you can turn a simple text into shape and then modify that shape to look like a slime, some kind of liquid. All right, I hope this tutorial was helpful and I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye.